on the East Coast. And I was walking to the corner store in my Crocs, right? And I was kidding. <laughs> and a motherfucker stopped me and he said, hey, psst, you wanna buy some weed? I got all snobby like, off the streets? <laughs> no, I don't wanna buy your shit. You ain't got a dispensary, a bud tender, somebody to tell me about this shit? He said, what is the percentage in this bag? I don't want your motherfucking shit in a plastic bag. You know shit? This my shit got a label in a jar. I'm gonna buy your shit. That dance really worn me out. Dude. You don't realize you're getting older until fucking you do some shit that realize you're older, right? Say, I'm officially a grandfather. Yes, yes. Four years old. I'm loving it. Cause you know, it's one of those type of things that you don't realize that, you know, you love your kids, but damn, I really love my granddaughter, right? She can't do no wrong. And then I can just send her a little badass back home. Love that shit like that. But it got me to thinking like, what do kids have to worry about nowadays? With the internet going on, you know what I'm saying? That's like, back in the day, man, we, the world was out to get us. We had all kind of shit. We had motherfucking chicken pops, the mumps, Thunderstorms. Nigga, I couldn't take a bath in my house if it was a thunderstorm. My mom was worried about lightning coming through the window and blowing my ass out the top. To this day of the thunderstorm, I know I'm dirty. I'm dirty. If it's raining all week, I'm a nasty motherfucker. Don't come see me. Because guess what? I'm not getting lightning hit by me. And the crazy part is, my mama always had a friend who had it happen to their kid. They're like, yo, you don't know what happened to Sean? Like, oh, Sean. I see Sean at school, like, yo, what happened, man? Like, what you talking about? I thought you got blown out the top. Man, that shit ain't happening. You be like, but you can't go test your mama, right? I'm still dirty. I'm still dirty. It's crazy. I just got my doctor. Oh, all right. Oh, yes. Yes. I just got my doctor. I didn't go to school for it or nothing. I just did some shit that the doctor wasn't going to do. I went to, went to the VA the other day, since you know everybody talking about it, I went to the VA the other day for my weekly, uh, my yearly checkup, you know. I'm 50 extra, so I go in and the doctor tells me like, yo, you gotta get ready, you know, for, for the colonoscopy, you gotta, you gotta go home, take this little, get me a little kit, take this home, swirl it in your shit, and wait, I swear, wait, wait, wait. I, I gotta do what? He said, you, we, well, no, I'm here. I'm here right now. How about I go shit right now? You can go. And you can swirl around. That, I'm, you got the MD. Right? That's you went to school for this. What am I doing this for? This sounds like some illegal shit to me. I don't, I, I don't understand why I got to go through this procedure. Gave me a whole kit to take home. Here's what's crazy. I guess I was taking too motherfucking long. They sent me another kid. Yeah, you don't send your shit in. Like, I'm like, what? How am I supposed to do this? So it took me a whole week to contemplate how I was even gonna make this happen. I'm like, <sighs> like, I'm asking stupid questions. I said to the doctor, like, well, I got the blue water. I don't know if we were working the blue water. So, can I still give it anything with the blue water? I was because I got the blue water, so I gotta wait till the blue water is gone before I do it. I don't even want to do this. Mind you, this ain't the finger up the, you know what I mean? It ain't that, but this is still aggressive. I don't, don't want to do this. I was in the bathroom crying a little bit. <laughs> they give me 
you a little paper thing to put in there. It's like a whole little napkin that you gotta put in the toilet. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is a, this, is this illegal? Any lawyers in here? And I feel like this was illegal, right? Like the VA got me doing somebody's job. I'm officially a fucking doctor. <laughs> like that. Then I took the sample. Here's what's crazy. Then I took the sample back into the motherfuckers. I take the sample and then motherfuckers said, look, we need to do blood tests and a urine test. Well, shit, if you put a motherfucker in the back, we can get the semen popping off right now, too, so I, mean, I done gave up my shit, my blood, and my urine shit. What is going on at the VA? I don't understand this. Pissing me off. Yo. Oh, God damn it. So the world is changing. A lot going on in the world. Now you get out there, you know, you got to respect everybody's acronyms. You know what I'm saying? They didn't change the English language completely. Thens and days and hers and we's. And you can identify as whatever you motherfucking want. I officially identify as a six footer. <laughs> when y'all see me walking around tonight, I want everybody to talk to me like this. I identify as a fucking six footer. Respect my shit. All right? Talk to me just like that. I don't give a fuck if I'm looking right in your chest. You better be like, screw that. This is some bullshit. Here's what's crazy, right? My son got a friend. He had a little party, right? This is my son right there. Y'all give it up for my son real quick. So, my son got a friend. And, my, and he had a little get together. So he probably smoked. I'm going to go play some bones at my house. I'm like, that cool. I shoot over, his homeboy's over there. He got the broccoli vest on, the Tim's. He over there talking. He like, yeah, I mean, I'm saying, son. I'm like, yeah, yeah, this brother's from home. He at East Coast, they're playing like me. I'm feeling this whole swag. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, what part of East Coast you from, son? He like, nah, nah, I ain't from the East Coast. <laughs> I got Scooby-Doo. I'm like, what? Where do you mean I'm from East Nah, nah, man, I just, I just feel like I can feel their style, son. Oh, what are you? He had never been. He was from here. He had, his accent was thicker than mine. He was like, yeah, he had the broccoli Tim's, everything. I was like, well, I'm going to cop them joints, son. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was from here. This is what we see. We fucking our children up. Huh? We fucking them up with this shit. He identified as an East Coaster. Ain't that some shit? Damn. Matter of fact, I'm changing my shit. I identify as a rich six footer. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Here's what's crazy. Oh, excuse me. Here's what's crazy. Like I said, the world is changing, a lot going on. You know, they they making us do all these different things, you know. And I'm thinking about how my grandchild is gonna come up in this. What's going? What, what's the next level for her, right? I so hope I'm not around. I gotta be honest, I don't know what the hell, like, what shit? Like, you know, what you gonna get him now? Like, what is, what's gonna change now? She just gonna go to school like, Boo -boo -boo. I'll be back, Babu. She calls me Babu. I didn't wanna be a pop pop, that felt old. So Babu is Nigerian. You know, black people always gotta do some shit we really don't know about. <laughs> I ain't never been no part to Africa. <laughs> But I was like, I'm gonna research this shit. I wanna know what you was pop pop in Africa. It was Babu. I said, you call me Babu. I thought like some superhero shit. I'm kind of a nerd too, so that made me feel like Babu. <laughs> yeah. Made me feel good, you know. That's pop pop felt old. My dad was a pop pop. You know, we grow up in the time. Kids don't have pop pops no more, right? Pop pops and my mom's. My, my mom was mean, right? You have a nana. Everybody know when you hear nana, that's nice. That is nice. She bakes cookies. <laughs> my moms and big mamas? No. My moms whoop ass. Who can laugh in my mom's house? She called it cackling. Quit all that cackling, which made it funnier. <laughs> He'd be up there. She can hear us from upstairs. We'd be in the basement. Quit that cackling. <laughs> you couldn't, you go. Kids, let me tell you what kids don't get. They don't get that act right. We had that act right. You know what I'm saying? If I, if I went to my grandma, my, my mom said to me, my mom would mom say, you want some candy or you want some Kool-Aid? And I said, mm-hmm. What? 
You don't shake your head. You don't shake your head. You better say yes. And you better say yes. Pronunciate. It better not be yeah. My mama would say, don't say yeah. You better say yes. I want some red Kool-Aid. White folks, if y'all didn't know, red Kool-Aid is the flavor and the color. Right? It is the flavor and the color. You don't call it cherry or strawberry. It's just red. You go in. Our, our commercial's not like the commercial. Y'all you know, got the commercials like, uh, some great Kool-Aid, some water, some Sunny D. That's not how it works in a black house. In a black house, it's like, there's some water, some soda, and some red shit. Oh, let me eat that red shit. That's how it goes. Red shit is everything. You know, don't ask what's in it, but it's red and like a pound of sugar. You got to be able to scoop the sugar out that motherfucker. You know what's crazy with kids nowadays? They will never know what it's like to have cereal without sugar on it. Never used to have to pour that shh, 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 shh. And back then we had, on the East Coast, we had no frills. So you had like the name brand and then the store brand and the no frills. It was just a white box with writing on it. Instead of cornflakes, it just said flakes. <laughs> So, so I'm a Philly dude, I'm a Philly dude. Our whole cabinet was no frills out. And we ain't had no doors on our cabinets, right? So, yeah, don't tell my mama, I told y'all about my house. Right? It was rough, life was rough. We ain't had no doors, so when people would come over, I would turn all the products around in the cabinet, right? Like that made a difference, because everybody knew no frills, they had no backing. So if you could see what the fuck was in the bottle, you knew it was no frills. I thought I was slick. Yeah, God, they didn't figure it out. Then my mama would show up to whenever we had school functions. She'd show up in her lime green jumpsuit with the earrings to match. With a big ass bag of no frills pretzels. And the motherfucker said, Who brought the no frills pretzels? The mother would be him, him, him. I'd be like, Shit. No, no, I used to try to push the no frills aside and be like, No, no, the other pretzels are mine. The other pretzels. Fucking no frills. Shit. Shit. My granddaughter had a thing at her school the other day. Guess what I sent her to school with? Uh -oh. No friends. Motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be good for you too, goddamn. It's gonna be good for you. So look, white folks, I'm gonna treat y'all to something. Right, I'm gonna treat y'all to something real quick. Black folks, this is the last inauguration speech we wanted to hear from Obama. Alright, work with me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Whatever the music is that brings him out, I don't know what's like that. <laughs> well, this is my last and all recent speech. <laughs> and I want to get some shit off my chest. <laughs> Aliens are real. 9 11 could have been stopped. Tupac is alive. Fuck the police, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, that's my time.